made it back. Oh, she tired. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back from Vegas. Oh my goodness. I can't even believe we did it. It's a, it is a crazy thing. So we did this speed project. We ran 300 miles from LA all the way to Vegas. I landed late last night back into the UK. Bit of a slog of a journey, but we made it back. And the reason I haven't done a whole YouTube video for the speed project is because there's going to be a big film on the speed project that BPN filmed. And it's going to be absolutely incredible so that'll be later in the year when that's releasing i didn't want to give anything away i'll throw some like pictures and stuff on the screen but guys we ran 300 miles from la to vegas body's feeling a little bit iffy today and i wanted this youtube video I'm just gonna film over the next couple of days for my recovery how i'm getting on what i'm doing to recover from such a a big race i've got london marathon coming up in a couple of weeks straight after I've got Geneva Marathon, so I've got a lot going on and my body needs to feel good. Good morning, baby. They love this. I get this fluffy thick, so I've left it out. I could just. It is the next day after I introduced you guys on the run that I am back home and I'm, I just think I'm so jet lagged. I think my body actually feels really quite good which is such a surprise after running an ultra and it was also the, the lack of sleep so we didn't sleep it took us 35 hours 35 minutes and we didn't sleep because we were switching out every three miles and every two miles and every one mile i got seven hours 39 minutes sleep last night according to my whoop if we go in it so i actually really struggled to get to sleep i was here and then it literally logged nothing i'm assuming my battery was dead and then we were yellow and now we're back up in green. So physically, overall, feeling really good like regarding my whoop and things like that. Because if you go on my strain, from when I was those two days of continuous running, they were the highest they could be. So 20.6 on whoop is somewhere that I only am. Like even after one of my marathons, I don't think I was 20.6, which is wild. But like after the 100K ultra, after this one, like my body's just, it's so much on your body. And I just feel, yeah, it's hard getting back into routine, but I think also the eight hour time difference from Vegas really hits you. I don't know what it is. I think with jet lag, it takes you, like the amount of hours difference it takes those days to get back. So it's 1.27 in the morning in Vegas. And I'm definitely feeling 1.27 in the morning. Like it's half nine now and I do not feel half nine. I am having a coffee, a massive, huge black coffee because I just feel like I need it this morning. Uh, yesterday I did that little 6K run. It was nice, it felt super easy. My joints were a little bit hit and miss and my toes hurt. And then today I've got a lower body. I'm just gonna do it in the home gym. I'll, I'll film a little bit for you. But yeah, just going through like recovery and what I'm doing to recover essentially in the best way possible because I've got London Marathon so soon and I've got Geneva Marathon so soon after that. And I just need to be I need to be a top form. Oh, also, you can get a free month on Whoop and the Whoop band included. My Whoop is my pride and joy. You guys know this. I have it every single day. I use it every single day. It was great. Actually, so great during TSP. It was really, really interesting. I love seeing how my body's reacting to these mad things that I do. And the lack of sleep, it was like, you need sleep. And I'm thinking, I know I need to sleep. I fell asleep at dinner and we ended up being up for, I think it was 42 hours. Awake for 42 hours, my Whoop was screaming at me. But yeah, you can get a free Whoop and 4.0 and a free month on Whoop and you can trial it out with the link below. I have been running around like a crazy human all morning and it's now 11.23 and I don't know where the freaking time has even gone. We're back in business and I'm running out of time to do things today. I've got an appointment at two o'clock and I still have a lot of work to do. I am just gonna have some salts. Salts really help with my recovery in general. I don't feel ill, I just feel so freaking tired. I'm on, I'm on Vegas time. A little bit of ice, erratic, and I will fill it up the whole thing full with the aim of getting through that in the session. The session that I've got today is lower body. I'm probably not going to have a pre. Oh, my babies are playing with their toys. Um, I'm probably not going to have a pre. I don't feel like I need one because I had a coffee not long ago. I would usually have this as a pre-workout. I'll just show you guys. It's from my protein. I absolutely love it. You can use discount code LucyD 
It's nootropic, so nootropics I absolutely love. It doesn't have a lot of caffeine, I actually don't know if it has any caffeine in. It's more of a, yeah, it's no caffeine. It has no beta alanine either. Beta alanine is something that makes you tingle, but I take that separately anyway. So in terms of my, it's not necessarily a recovery stack, but I have collagen, greens, and beta alanine. Now, beta alanine is really good for recovery and it's a supplement that I take by itself. Like I don't even have it in the pre-workout and I think I actually have seen a lot of benefits from it and I will continue to take it, but I need to get in the gym. I need to stop babbling on, I need to hit this session. Don't know how I'm gonna feel in it, but we're just gonna go for it. Yeah, I'm pooped today. I just got a real lack of energy going on in the in the in the mindset. Mental mental capacity today is low. Um, so I've definitely completely just reduced the the weights that I'm lifting. There's no point of me going ridiculously crazy today. Like all I realistically wanted to do today was do a session. That was great. And to just get a session done and that's exactly what I'm doing. The Build It Back series that I did, if you guys remember, on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram if you're not already, about building back my glutes and my legs. Obviously when I do ultras and marathons, I do drop like the pump or a little bit of size. So, I mean, I've not completely lost my glutes. So my quads are really strong at the moment, but like my posterior needs a little bit of work. That's something that I'm really keen to push on with. Moving on to a sumo squat. So I've got a really weird tightness here. And you know what, I actually felt it. I'll insert the clip from the speed project where you can hear me say, fuck this. Because in all honesty, we did it. We had 32 miles to go and we broke it down to mile segments. So we're doing a mile segment each and we were sprinting. I went a 350 kilometer, well, 350 kilometer pace for a mile on like my 44th mile of the ultra off no sleep. And I pounded pavements and I can really feel it like here. So I definitely need to be a little bit careful just with what I'm doing. So those step ups, I did six on this leg instead of pushing it too far. Oh, she tired. After this though, I have, need to get something to eat. Um, my food is all over the place. I'm not even eating yet today, it's quarter past 12 because jet lag really, I really suffer with eating with jet lag because it feels the complete wrong time. I think it's, it's like four o'clock in the morning for me at the moment and I'm just not, oh, I just don't feel hungry. So I'm literally gonna force myself to eat a massive, massive bowl of protein oats. I know I'll get my protein, I know I'll get my carbs and I know I need to refuel properly. And for me, it's probably the easiest way to, uh, to get it in. Okay, last exercise that I'm gonna hit is a single leg RDL. Um, I've actually not done single leg RDLs in ages. Also, I'm realizing these camera angles for you guys on YouTube are absolutely terrible and I apologize for that. It's because I'm also at the same time using this for my phone, whereas I'd usually use it in a different way. Um, single leg RDL. Do you know what? It's one of my favorite exercises. If you're an OG YouTube, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. But if you're an OG, you guys know I used to literally do this exercise all the time. <sighs> I think I might even superset it with pull-ups. I know I'm doing a lower body session, but I'm trying to build my ass back. But I really want to do some pull-ups. I have just had the world's quickest body shower. Uh, we're gonna have a huge bowl of oats. I'm gonna put some nuts on it just to get my calories up in a slightly different way. Gonna have loads of fruit on it, banana, the usual, peanut butter, all that jazz, some honey, cinnamon. I'm really just gonna go a little bit ham because as I said, I'm trying to get in as many calories as possible whilst not feeling hungry. 
and that's just the truthful honest opinion that when you've got jet lag or when you've just come off the back of like an ultra or something sometimes you don't feel like you want to eat. I'm actually going to have vegan protein in it. I do always have vegan protein. I'm not vegan. I have a very high meat diet, but I don't know why I've always had vegan protein. Like I actually really enjoy it. So here we are. I'm going to wait until I get back from my appointment and I'm going to have the beta alanine, the collagen, and the my protein greens. Again, discount code Lucy D if you want to shop through those. Obviously, it is a paid partnership. I've worked my protein for, I think, like four years now, which is absolutely wild. But yeah, I'm just, I, I feel full and I've not even eaten and it's crazy. So I'm not gonna have that because the greens usually fill me up. I'm gonna have the protein oats and then when I get back, hopefully I'll feel less full. Delish. Unreal, adds a little bit of Easter chocolate on there because why not? So as you can see, massive bowl gonna go down. Just my way to my appointment, um, shouldn't be too long, maybe like an hour out of my day, an hour and a quarter out of my day, gotta go back. Got loads of work to do with the flying my car. Got loads of work to do, and then my sister's gonna pop over, she's gonna see the kids, she's gonna see me, I'm not seeing her for a while. Maybe you saw an ice bath, not 100% sure yet. And um, we'll just see how it goes. I am back for my appointment and I'm just organizing this drawer drawer it's my pantry cupboard the tiniest little bit because it's it's just it's causing a lot of stress then i'm going to quickly do my hair i feel a little bit gross i think it's just the jet lag speaking to be honest i don't think i actually look that completely horrible as much as i feel like i just feel I can't even describe it, I just feel really minging, like I don't know what it is, I feel like I need to go and get like, another shower and I just, ugh, I don't know what it is. So I'm just going to try and sort my life out a little bit, stop stressing and then get some more work done. I also need to eat and again I'm not, I'm not even hungry, it's mad. Look he's woken up. Hello little boy. Are we sleepy? Sorry, we've been being a bit loud. Are we sleepy? It was so funny before, so all their toys are in this little toy box. And he was just sat in his box waiting for me to play with him. Wasn't <laughs> you cheeky? Wasn't you cheeky? I swear to God, she's the cutest thing I have ever seen in my whole entire life. What are you doing, you little pudding? You're so cosy, aren't you? I'm not going to disturb her because she just looks so cute and restful. But I am finally feeling... <sighs> a little bit better i'm gonna have like a five minute stretch i've done my hair i feel a little bit more alive you know what's so mad as well like sometimes if you do just like do your hair or you know wash your face and just make yourself feel that little bit better so the daily stack beta alanine helps with recovery greens and then collagen which i'm actually running out of they're all from my protein i'm generally just gonna have like i always do this i end up I did have so much work on and I got up late, didn't I? Because I'm just really jet lagged. Like I feel so wide awake now. I don't know what time it is. Whatever time it is in the US is how I'm feeling. 7.50 a.m. You best believe I feel like I've just woke up. Like I feel so wide awake. Oh yeah, it's one of those things, isn't it? But you do just have to make sure you're putting time aside to stretch. I'd always usually do it at the start of a session or the end of a session and always do rehab, but I've just not done it since I've been, I mean, I've been home for a day. That's obviously why I've not done it. But then hot and cold therapy is something I'd always do. Again, I do feel quite lucky that I have the sauna and the ice bath in the back garden and things like that. It's not a usual, it's not a usual thing, but I do love the hot and cold. <gasps> Baby girl, what have you got? Minnie's still really, really shy. So they're only about 16 weeks. Still very, very shy. He's actually not, he's pretty confident. We were having a cuddle last night, but she's definitely still, not right now, but she's actually pretty timid. And we're just, we're not rushing it with them. It's like some people when they get kittens, they like throw them around and they pick them up straight away. But ours are really sensitive and we just don't want to ruin that relationship that we've got with them. So yeah, she's in the toy box. She's having a ball I and mean, I have so much more work to crack on with. So I'm just gonna crack on. Um, nice little, <laughs> you've got your toy, baby. 
having a great time with that toy. I've got so much work to do, I'm just gonna crack on, I'm gonna put a bit of music on, and I'm just gonna aim to get this done in the next like two hours. It's quite hard when you've been away and you are a business owner because even though like we, we do have a team back home looking after the app and the podcast and we've pre-filmed and Loose Days Fit content was fine because that was kind of what I was doing out there anyway. I feel really overwhelmed when I get home and I've got so much to do, but I'm just trying to stay really calm. Um, also guys, I know girlies who are listening to this will completely appreciate. I was on contraception for quite a few years and I came off last August, because obviously me and Ben this year at some point um, probably want to try for a baby. And I came on my period, bear in mind I've not had a period for five years because I've been on contraception. I came on my period during the speed project um, between, so we were off road for like seven hours in these trucks and I felt really weird. We met at this like meeting point where the RVs are before we went off road again for 80 miles in the Jeeps and that point is when I came on my period. Can't, you couldn't even write it. You couldn't even write it. So I've definitely felt um, really weird first period that I've had in about five years I knew I was gonna feel a certain type of way but yeah it hit me um hit me a lot harder than I expected I just had some sourdough toast and I realized I didn't even show you guys because I was so I got really hungry I got overwhelmed with hungriness um and as you can see I'm still working because I've got so much to do but Megan is on her way over, which is absolutely wonderful and lovely. I, I really struggle after these sort of big races um, emotionally. I get really emotional when they're finished or when I have to come home. And it's that whole thing, you know, when you have, you're on such a high and then you kind of drop back down to life and it hits sometimes a little bit different. I also think my period will have really affected my emotions considering I haven't had a period in like five years. I think it will have hit really quite hard. Um, but yeah, I'm just waiting for Meg to come over. I'm not sure what we're doing for food yet. I think we'll probably order something or maybe cook something together. Uh, but I'm super glad she's coming over because Ben's not here at the moment. He literally left the next morning after we got back from Vegas because he's gone to get his tattoo. He's getting a sleeve and it's the sexiest thing I've ever seen in my whole life, but I'm gonna lie to you. Um, so yeah, I feel a little bit lonely. So Meg offered to, uh, to come over, which is nice. Hello, little munchie. We have ordered some pasta and we're just waiting for food. We've had a very chilled evening doing this, just catching up, playing with the kittens. He got all cute before when he was all cuddly, um, but I'm not sure where Minnie's gone. She's never on camera, but we're just gonna wait for our pasta. Got our pasta and then um, oh, that looks good. Side of Caesar salad. Chicken. Chicken side. I put like the sides like on. Oh, you get four. I think it's that. I'm not sure. That's for your pasta, that bowl. Bolognese and a non pasta salad and some chicken. Whilst watching Bride Wars. Megan has just left. I've had a very, very chilled evening. You can see Munch is super chilled. Uh, Minnie's still definitely a little bit more shy. Watching Brian Wars, relaxing. And I'm just gonna probably end the video here before this gets too loud. Hope you loved it. Give a big thumbs up, subscribe. Love you so much. See you next week. Bye.